A bizarre family feud at a local cemetery. A man's casket was dug up and moved, but family members say they were never told. Okay, Cal 9's Peter Dowd is live in Rosemead right now with a story that you'll only see here on KCAL 9. Peter. Jeff and Susie, right now the family of Richard Franco say that he is not buried where he's supposed to be here at Resurrection Cemetery, and so they're taking legal action. It's just not right. When the family of Richard Franco says they went to visit his grave at the Resurrection Cemetery in Rosemead, they discovered he had been removed from the family plot. Can you imagine walking up to the grave? They didn't tell us anything that this was going to happen. That's traumatizing, you know, to show up to find out the way we found out. The 33-year-old died unexpectedly in 2015 and was buried next to his grandfather. He left behind two sons and also a wife, who his family says he had been separated from. Suffice it to say, the wife and Franco's family did not have a good relationship. They say she wanted to hurt them shortly after he was buried, so secretly had the cemetery move his body to another section. You don't disturb the dead. You know, especially in a Catholic cemetery. The family has now filed a lawsuit, not only against Franco's wife, but also the Catholic Archdiocese that oversees the cemetery. Essentially, when you buy a plot, you're buying a piece of land. That's what you're paying for. And we feel that the church had an obligation to notify that it was going to be interfered with, uh, tampered with. The Archdiocese sent us a statement. This is a sensitive matter involving litigation within a family. We are respectful of their different views. Even though the complaint has not been served on the archdiocese, we have been working with the family members involved in an attempt to resolve the matter. Franco's family says the cemetery should never have moved his body without telling them first. And now they want to send a message. You can't do things like that without, you know, taking the proper steps. The lawsuit has been filed, but not yet served. The family is seeking more than a million dollars in damages. Back to you. All right.